<laughs> hey you guys, Amanda here. Rebels against government, no end, because we don't like nuts in our government. Um, I know no one's on here yet, and I am suppressed, so uh, you may not see this, but I wanted to let you know how my first fall forum went, um, attempting to gain the seat of Secretary of State. It was eventful. <laughs> It was good to be in a room full of Republicans. Um, I don't have any in Morehouse Parish. It, my opponent, only one opponent showed up. Um, naturally, the Democrat opponent did not show. Uh, the incumbent did show. And he already knows why I'm running for Secretary of State. Um, and he come out the gate flat out lying to the Republican Party. He claims we're number one in cybersecurity. I'm sorry, Louisiana's not number one in cybersecurity in any way, shape, form, or fashion. As a matter of fact, we just declared a state of emergency over the theft of our records in Morehouse Parish and Washita Parish, Louisiana. I'm told there were several other parishes that suffered this. Uh, one of the employees there stuck in a ransomware. Um, the FBI says it's foreign, but the people that implement it are not foreign. They're actually um, plants inside of our school districts. They already have an alignment with corrupt officials to pay the ransom. I'm sorry, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Not in this country and damn sure not in Louisiana. Um, I did not respond in that way. I just let them know that I was a pigeon messenger and I'm very concerned about the security of our records in our state. Uh, and I was polite. This was my first rodeo. And I wasn't going to try to get a fish in the first take out the gate. <laughs> so, um, a lot of people knew who I was. At, and I was really, really shocked. Um, some of the Supreme Court candidates, Louisiana judges and attorneys, they knew who I was. And that was kind of unnerving to me. Um, I chose Secretary of State because I want to protect our records. But I also chose it because I don't want to be on TV. I want to live my life with my children. And I honestly didn't want the scrutiny. I didn't want to run for Secretary of State. But with all the training I have, not protecting our children's future, I couldn't live with myself. I could be in another state right now and I could already have a seat. That's the point I'm trying to make to you. I could be somewhere else right now making a hell of a lot more money, paying a lot less insurance, and living a much better life and not getting so much gray hair. <laughs> but I'm here and I'm trying to help the people in Louisiana. Um, there was an electric moment, you guys. There is a lady that is running for St. Tammany Parish um, president, which I guess is basically like their mayor. Um, <laughs> she had two career politicians against her, and she was in the middle. And the first thing she spoke about was overreaching the government. Uh, her husband's uh, air conditioning man, and she had to pay like seven or eight hundred bucks to have somebody else come out and inspect their house um, because it has to be done by the state or the parish to be able to pass inspection and it cost them seven or eight hundred dollars they didn't have to necessarily spend her husband certified um, that was the first thing she had mentioned and that that's a very valid good point um, and then one of the questions posed to her was how she felt we should handle the mental illness epidemic she went off now I'm gonna tell you right now the rules in these you're not supposed to have a reaction okay and the, the, the audience is not supposed to have a reaction every woman in that room sucked in their breath and you could feel the electricity and every single one of us I know what I was screaming I was like say it Say it right now. Say it. And she did. She did. She said, we are doping up our kids on these pharmaceuticals. 
The government is telling us we're supposed to put these kids on this medication. Then they're teaching them this hate and division history. And they're radicalizing our kids. You need to be paying attention as a parent what is going on at your school. I know the majority of parents are starting to homeschool. They've started private school. They're doing everything they possibly can to prevent their children from suffering. When you teach hate and division, which they have done by altering our history, they don't teach both sides of the Civil War anymore. It's flat out the North was fighting to free some slaves. <laughs> That's a crock of crap. You hear me? Anyway, they're teaching the hate and division, and they're doping them up on pharmaceuticals. She nailed it. And as soon as it was over, she was one of the last ones to speak. I got up, and I hugged her neck so hard. I didn't even care who's seen it. Because it took a lot of guts for her to sit there and do that. I know she probably has been persecuted. And I hope she doesn't get persecuted in real life like I was when I spoke up. But I did come away knowing that they are aware of me. They know my research. They know who I am. And they do respect me. Um, I did not feel belittled in any way. Now, my opponent, what he was trying to say about us being first in cybersecurity... That did kind of feel like a man trying to say, just shut up and sit down. We got it handled. No, honey, you don't. I wish you did. Because I would not be going through this right now if you did. Believe me, I don't want to do this. I didn't want to run for this seat. But our state is in serious, serious jeopardy. I can't even disclose to you everything I know. But I know for a fact... We've got these 10,000 new voting machines. You've got the new influx of the prison voters, which majority are not going to vote. They're not even going to get registered unless they start implementing registry whenever these people are released. It's not going to happen. I've actually um, associated with some people that were attempting to get their rights back. They can't even do it. I mean, they give them a form they're supposed to fill out, and they go to do it, and they have to have particular identification and everything else and most of them just got released from jail they don't have anything at that point okay i did get to point out that you can't see in the booth for people that can't see i did point out we needed audio um for the people that can't see and the people that can't read i didn't get to say anything about examples for these amendments because these amendments that they're slipping in these bills you guys I'm a paralegal. I have 22 years experience. I know what they mean, pretty much. But even I have some difficulties because there's no examples. You don't understand what it means and you're voting on it, yes or no. Um, it went really well. I felt really positive and it was my first rodeo and I was very reserved. Um, I didn't fly off the hinge or anything. And I didn't um, respond to Kyle whenever um, he lied. He lied. We are not first in cybersecurity. I wish we were. Um, because if we were, I would not be standing. But I just wanted to let you guys know, um, thank you for everybody that shares me and supports me. I know I have been shared on these forums, these underground forums. Um, I know that I've had cyberbots attacking me, but you know what? If they hate me because I stand for my heritage, that makes them the fascist. That makes them the racist. If you can attack any symbol for emotions and feelings, you've opened Pandora's box. There is no going back after that. The floor delay was used. It was branded on runaway slaves. It was branded on French prostitutes. And they love that symbol. Because that's not the only thing it means. And just like the Confederate battle flag, it was used in a war where people were murdered by a tyrant government. We were invaded in the South. It was the poor people in the army. Only 5% of the South actually owned slaves. 
and and that's the real logistics of it I know my ancestors didn't die so somebody could keep their slaves I know that for a fact and for them to slander me and call me hate or race racist I'm not racist I grew up in a 90% black African American community and I love my family and friends all right you guys have a good night and I just wanted to let you know it went well and I'm not jumping off the ship and I'm not giving up right now I actually think I have a very good chance to win it just because of the fact that these people already knew who I was before I even walked into that room and some were actually waiting to hear what I had to say and the women the real women the workers the ones behind all of this they observed the way call responded to me and I don't think it set very well with them <laughs> but y'all have a blessed night god bless